All right, we're back. Look, this is gonna be a really quick video. I'm, I'm gonna show you something that I've been teaching in the academy. You know, um, relatively well known. Used to be a, a, a very famous joke, but I'm gonna see if I can add some detail to it to make it make more sense for you. The bomb flew from side control, but we're not doing it in response to a guillotine attempt. We're doing it initiating from standard side control, right? So Griffin's helping me today, and like one thing that we just want to talk about is. Um, a slight modification of, of holding the position that allows you to kind of really set the things you need to kind of facilitate the choke. So I'm going to have head and arm control to start off with, and I'm going to base up with my right leg. This gives me a, the ability to be kind of stable in the position while still being able to deal with like bridges, strengths, and I'm also going to wedge his hip between my elbow and my knee. So it's going to look like this. So left knee connect to his hip. Right, well, left elbow connect to his hip. I have the underhook, and my right leg's up. So this is from this position, I can sink my weight back a little, but also when he bridges into me, like it's very easy for me to you know, deal with it because I have that right leg out of his base. And also if he tries to strip his hip, I'm wedging his hip so there's no space. Now my left hand wants to pull up on his shoulder, I want to expose his back, so I'm gonna pull up on his shoulder. And a lot of times, like, if you bridge it into me strong, that gives it to me as well. Now, now we have this back exposure. My goal is to get my right hand to as low back, as low as possible. So I'm going to treat this arm like a, like, like an under, like, um, it's doing like an uppercut, but I'm uppercutting, like, downward. So it's like here, deep, 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 boom. As deep as possible, now I let him rest. I drop him back onto my hand, so now his weight's keeping my hand steady. Now my shoulder's gonna shift to the left. So I'm just kind of shifting my whole body to the left. What happens is that allows my shoulder to drop below the jawline. Once that happens, now look, I keep pulling the shoulder in and I'm just gonna let my weight sink. So my right hip is starting to sink to the mat. And also I'm flexing my bicep forearm. And as I sink down, I just let my hip drop and then drive the shoulder, that motion, boom, to the finish. All right, super quick, um, taught this all last week, last week, <laughs> said it twice, um, in my academy, started having a good amount of success with it, and hopefully you will as well, all right? And if you like it, then comment, like, share, all that fun stuff. I'm trying to, once again, pick up my activity, and go back to making regular videos again. So hopefully something I do will help. And if you have questions, feel free to ask. Have a great day.